Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today we are watching Isa Tunanen in his Kremjachni. And he is on the map straight in a... Well, we'll see the domination here, but it's pretty much a standard battle. His replay is a bit older. I think by now they have renamed this mode to standard battle. Anyway, it's a tier 5 battle. And yeah, he's top tier. Now, the Grammy, this ship, is... Well, it's a bit of a monster, I guess. I think it's the best tier 5 destroyer. It was available as a pre-order package when the game was still in beta. The ship has 130mm guns and a range of about 12 kilometers, I think. It has 8 km torpedo range and it has a surface detection range of, I think, 6.8 kilometers. And you can obviously use camo. So you can fire your torpedoes without getting spotted and very long range. I think you should be able to have a small window to fire your guns without getting spotted. The uh, only real downside of this destroyer is it has a horrible turret traverse. Also, I uh, got this replay from wowreplays.com. I also want to mention Isa, the player we are watching right now was the first person who ever sent me a replay. Well, not this replay, uh, a while back. I have featured his replays before in this channel. So it's nice to see one of his games again. And he really loves this ship and he's a really good player in it. And hey, he already scored a torpedo hit. And Citadel hit. Which currently makes me wonder if He's actually shooting high explosive. Sometimes in replays you don't see the right ammunition choice, probably because uh, it might have switched in the beginning and that might be a part of the replay. One has skipped or one was still in a loading screen. Actually, I'm considering making a video about some of the replay bugs because you can produce some very funny scenarios with that, like the walls that aren't there. But anyway, um, back to this battle. So far, it's nothing too special has happened. Isa got a uh, few nice hits in, got a torpedo hit already. Nobody has died in any team so far. He decided to stay here in the north and defend. And here in the south, three ships kinda decided to play aggressive, weren't one guy decides to support the defense and this guy is probably still not sure what to do. Considering he's a cruiser, he's probably a bit too far back to really support his advancing team here. And Esa is currently chilling in St. Louis. Nicely done. But then uh, St. Louis is only a tier 3 ship. So they have uh, taken the lead now, but I guess they will pretty soon lose a few ships down here in south. They are just... Oh, oh. And this battleship is way too close to destroyers. Now when you are playing the Grammy, you always have to decide if you want to use the guns and maybe stay a little further Find or if you wanna get closer and shoot your torpedoes. This little destroyer, it's it's an it's a good gunboat, but it also has very good torpedoes for its tier, so deciding when to use what and how to use them is probably what makes you a great player in this ship. He closed the distance, he fires his torpedoes, now he's turning away and I'm guessing once he has a little more distance he will use his guns again. Now, also uh, in this small channel there are some enemies, I don't know where they came from, probably from A, and they kind of ambushed this battleship I guess, was driving through here. 
Now he is trying to support those guys. And well, he got a torpedo hit while this is going on, which is nice to see. So this... Ah, switch to armor piercing now. Let's see if he can get some nice... Yeah, there go the citadel hits. Yubari is... Oh my god, five citadel hits. Uh, yep. This Yubari just got destroyed. Now, nobody expects a destroyer to citadel them, I guess. Some destroyers can do a surprisingly amount of damage to uh, badly armored cruisers. Oh, he switched back to high explosive and currently shooting at an enemy battleship. I don't think his torpedoes will have a chance of hitting anything here. His torpedo range is 8 kilometers. Now, I'm not sure how much closer this guy will be if he's driving this way. There's always a chance that he gets close enough that he's actually in torpedo range, but at current cross behind an island, I don't think so. Then again, it never hurts to shoot your torpedoes if no friendlies are in the line of fire. And if you're certain you don't need your torpedoes for a better target anytime soon, why not just give it a shot? Oh, it's not looking that great at the moment. They are behind a few ships. They've lost pretty much everyone down here in the south. But I mean, they are still in a good position to defend the camp. I mean, they're all still here. So let's see if they can make it work. Miyogi will very soon be dead, I guess. less thing to worry about. The enemies have two more shifts. So far we can only see this battleship and this cruiser. This battleship doesn't have a lot of friends and well the whole te friendly team can shoot this guy. The bad news is those are only the cruisers, well, this cruiser is running away. And there is an enemy destroyer, but he's on pretty low health. Hopefully, then take him out quickly. And yeah, I guess the friendly cruiser just drove into torpedoes. Just took a nasty hit. And there is a confederate. Also scored some nice torpedo hits while he was dealing with the destroyer. Now he is using smoke. He's under fire by too many enemies. And he's using the smoke to fire his guns. And hopefully we, his torpedoes will deal with this battleship. If smoke runs out and he is in close proximity to a battleship, it might not end so well for him. Hey, somebody else dealt with this guy. Which is pretty nice. It's three against four, so... Okay, it's two against four. But not really unwinnable. A 
there is no enemy currently spotted. But considering those shells, we one we can now see a battleship. And yeah, we know that the destroyer, I think, was last seen somewhere in this channel. Although, I mean, destroyers are fast, it could be anywhere by now. Now, oh, the last friendly cruiser and Acer, they are both shooting the Königsberg. They're concentrating their fire and hope. Well, they're last friendly ship. Well, I guess he's the last hope. So he is alone against. Or maybe, maybe he can get a torpedo hit on the Königsberg. Uh, okay, I think he avoids it. There's some other friendly torpedoes incoming. Aren't hitting either. At least he set the Königsberg on fire. He's in a... Probably in gun range of all three enemies, which is... Not so great. And we still don't know where the destroyer is currently. I mean, considering that he is at his cap and they are all enemies. Yeah. We know the destroyer is here now. I mean, where else would he be, right? So that's one enemy dealt with. Hopefully he can take out this destroyer quickly. There you go. Kraken's unleashed. Hopefully he has quite a bit of range. So he's not an easy target to hit. And considering he's engaging those enemies at this range, he probably has the captain trait to increase the range on his ship. And as you can see, currently isn't spotted, so he is at the range where he can fire from stealth. He's trying to close the distance, probably to get some torpedoes off. And since the enemies have started capping, he has to keep resetting them. Yeah, one of the problems of the Remy is that the turrets rotate so slowly. So if you're trying to make a lot of turns in order to avoid fire, you probably can't keep your guns on target. But I mean still, at a range of 12 kilometers, in the destroyer you aren't very easy to hit. Oh, he switched fire to the battle ship. There you go, he gets some resets on the battleship as well. And the uh, cruiser is spotted again. I think the cruiser has ran himself into ground. And he is burning. Very nice. He still isn't spotted. But I guess he is very close at the range where the enemies will see him. And I mean, they can still see his shells. But you know. Pinpointing a destroyer's location that is moving only with the shells that's yeah.
Though this cruiser is... well, he's dead. I'm probably pretty frustrated. And the New York. I'm not sure if he's trying to find cover or if he's trying to run away. But Isa still manages to stay in that small window where he can fire his guns without getting spotted. I think the New York is getting desperate and is just randomly firing. And he's managed to get himself stuck at an island. Well, no. Just ran himself into ground. And, well, it's a bit painful to watch this poor New York. He doesn't know what to do. Can't really do much and he's just slowly getting whittled away. I don't think there is anything this New York can do. All he can do is blind fire and pray. And... Yeah. Pretty soon it will be over. Now let's take a look at the results. Laser managed to get 2,800, almost 2,900 base experience. Very nicely done. He got himself a lot of achievements. Confederate High Caliber, Kraken, Solo Warrior, Seven Kills, Six Citadels in this destroyer. 223 total hits, 4 torpedo hits. Yeah, if it was an amazing game to watch, I think. He did lots of damage and he carried this game. Now it's a very strong ship he was sailing, but still it's quite an, quite an impressive battle. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. I certainly did. And I see you guys next time.